to the, the front of my lane. Typically, you kind of want to stretch out. You'll see a lot of people stay in here, warm up, and just get acclimated to the water. It's going to be cold at first. That doesn't mean you need to jump in and sprint right away. So, make sure you understand how deep the water is. A lot of pools don't let you dive. So, it's best to like slowly get in the water. If you want, you can sit down, get your feet in. It's cold. <laughs> and you're just going to slowly get in. If you're a little bit uncomfortable in the water, we recommend that you are always holding on to the side and get comfortable breathing and floating, which we're going to show you in a minute. So, we're going to slowly get in. It's a little cold, so I'm not quite ready to swim, all right? I'm going to put my goggles on so I can get used to what it feels like to have my goggles on and see what it's like underwater and make sure that you're aware of your surroundings. So, if someone is sharing a lane with you, you're going to want to do something called circle swim. That means that you're always going to swim on the right side of the lane so that everyone's rotating in a counterclockwise direction. If there's someone in your lane coming your way and you're about to get in the water, just hop in and scoot over to the side, either on this corner or that corner, but just give them some room. So once you're in the water, what we recommend is just get used to the water, get warm. If you want, you can hold on to the side and dip your face underwater. Blowing bubbles in and out of your nose and your mouth. And here you can practice breathing forward or breathing on your sides. 